Quincy Siegel here with a LEGO review of the new LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean set, The Silent Mary, number 71042. It contains 2,294 pieces, and the recommended ages are 14 plus, and it comes with eight minifigures. So let's get started with the review. What I notice is the ship's very detailed and complex look with all the cannons and just all the detail that went into every single little piece from uh, where the little pieces go to how they're positioned and everything on the ship. So starting in the back here, we have the little designs with the little chains hanging off and three towers on here. Obviously this isn't to scale, so the towers seem a lot smaller than they actually should be in universe. You have this little space down here, which can fit a minifigure, but it's clearly not meant to. Uh, you got some movable cannons. All these little towers have them. Um, right up here you have one of the sails and a spinning wheel. Uh, and then there are some little ladders that go down to this second deck where you can put the captain himself, Captain Salazar. We will get to the minifigures a little later. Uh, then you go down to this deck right here. This looks a little odd, but we'll get to it a little later. Um, you have a bunch of cannons, which can go side to side like this. Um, there's a few of them on the deck. Then there's this bell right here, which is nice. And it has a chrome colored piece right here. Uh, continue on here's the other sail um, and you have two more of these towers here and then the final sail which kind of has its mast coming out from the deck down here and it has this little crow's nest area right up here uh, right here there are some anchors and as you can see this is a ghost ship so the hole is starting to wear off um, there's a whole bunch of cannons on going across the side and the little parts of the hole are just like coming off and there's these little green pieces to represent moss. Um, oh, and there's actually some actual moss there as well. Here's the rudder which can go back and forth. Um, each of these little sections can lift up revealing these little plate so it kind of looks like it's floating and so it doesn't break all the time. Just to give it a little stand, the middle section can come up revealing a shark. Uh, there's two of these and oops, we'll get to them a little later. Um, this section can also come off. And now let's take a look at the other side. Immediately tell with this other side. It's practically the same thing, and it is, because it's pretty much the same assembly, just with some different pieces. Like, as you can see here, this and this are a little different, because it can show some wear on the ship. Um, it's pretty much the same thing going all the way up, except some pieces are just in different places. You've got the shark on the other side and the clear stands. Um... There's the mast. This is the first one. It can position a minifigure up here or back here or wherever you like. Then now on to this mast, which is kind of interesting. It's the same build as the other mast. You can position a minifigure up here, but you can see that this little section down here is different. So what you can do is you can tilt the mast over to give this ship a completely different look. Kind of a broken down ship or a ship that is being destroyed in, at the moment. Um, but there's that. I personally like it with this up. I don't think it looks as good with it down, but there's that. Um, something different is that on this side, the roof tiles are complete, whereas on the other side, uh, they are not. So this is pretty much the entire ship. 
Uh, now let's get on to the Another movie. very cool thing about this set is this. There's four of these joints right here. And the ship just opens up really big. And you can kind of push these to the sides, kind of like it's about to eat a ship. So you can put this boat, for example, just stick it in there, and then chomp it down. So that's very cool. The first minifigure we'll take a look at is Captain Jack Sparrow. As you can see, he has some very nice printing right on the hood right here, if it'll focus. Um, so you got that nice, very detailed printing. And also on the coat tails and the torso, they had that printing. It'll look a lot better when I take off the hair. Um, but his accessories include this bottle, which is the black pearl. And his compass, which is actually now molded in black. His other weapon includes the standard cutlass right here. Nothing special about it. But there's uh, the front of Captain Jack Sparrow. And now let's turn him around to reveal his alternate face. Whoops. Here is Captain Jack Sparrow's alternate face, which is kind of scared. And you've got... You can see the printing a lot better. And the front printing as well. The next minifigure is Captain Salazar, the captain of the ghostly Silent Mary ship. Um, so the first thing you notice is that he has this very wacky hairpiece. This is a new mold, which looks really nice, for sure. I don't know if it would fit on any other minifigure since it's so wacky, but it's a nice mold indeed. Secondly, he has this very nice black sword cutlass. It's molded in black instead of gray compared it to Jack Sparrow sword. Um, then he has some very nice printing on the coat and his head also has some nice printing. I don't know if it's as good compared to the trailers of what we've seen. And you can also see the little cracks in here. He doesn't have any back face printing, but he has some, a little bit of nice uh, black and gray printing on the back of his torso. And he has these little shoulder pads as well, but that is it for Captain Salazar. So the next minifigure is Henry, and in the little booklet that came with the set, uh, it tells you that Henry is a Royal Navy sailor and he learns a lot about, and knows a lot about uh, pirates and sailing. So as you can see, he has a telescope here. Um, there's that. And a cutlass, the same as Jack Sparrow's, in the same color. He has some nice torso printing with some details on the coat. Um, and a nice face as well. Let's turn this around. And he has some very nice coat printing on the back. And he has a nice back face printing. So overall, Henry is a good looking minifigure. Um, I just wish he could have gotten some uh, leg print. That would have been very nice. So the next minifigure will be Lieutenant Lazaro. Now, this is the only of the ghostly pirate minifigures to have brownish tan as his main uh, torso color. He also has a bit of gray in there, but overall that is a very detailed torso. Uh, let's look at the back. He has no back printing, obviously, because you'd be able to see it on his head. Um, he has nice back printing on his back, but not on his head. Um, he has the black cutlass, same as Captain Salazar. And he has a nice printed uh, pirate's hat. So that is it for Lieutenant Lazaro. So next is Officer Magda. He is a ghost pirate that gives you a very ghostly feel. Mostly with the ghost tail. But the head also looks nice. Um, he has some nice printing for the torso. And he does have a new piece uh, for his gun. This is the same piece as uh, the normal pistol, but in 
uh, gunmetal gray. Normally it's in brown, but this time it's in gunmetal gray. So, of course, like all the, uh, pretty much all the other uh, Ghost Pirate minifigures, he doesn't have much back printing, but he has some showing some rips and tears. And like most of the other pirates, if not all of them, he just has the cracks in the head, no back face printing. So that is it for Officer Magna. This is Officer Santos, another of the henchmen looking uh, ghost pirates. Uh, he has the same torso prints as Officer Magda, as you can see right here. Let's take a quick look at it. Um, he has the same sword as Captain Salazar and Lieutenant Lazaro. He has nice new legs with the coat continuing on there and then the one black leg and the one clear leg. That looks really cool. He has uh, a clear head with printing on it. And it's the same thing for all the others with the back head printing and the back printing. The only thing different uh, than some of the other pirates is his hat, which is the same one that Officer Magda sports. Next minifigure is Karina who uh, is on the good guy side, Jack Sparrow and Henry and those guys. Um, at least I think I haven't seen the movie, but uh, she has this nice gown and she has this little device to help her tell the stars or navigate the stars or something like that. It's pretty cool. I've seen it in a few cents. Um, she also has this journal, which is exclusive to the set, which is Galileo's journal of... I don't know, star navigating, I don't know what you would call it. Um, has this very nice printed piece right here. Um, that's it for the book. Uh, now let's take off her hair so you can see the back printing and the back face. It's nice that all the main minifigures have back faces. I just wish somebody like uh, Captain Salazar would. Um, but overall... Uh, her minifigure isn't super detailed as much as the others, but it's detailed enough. This is the Silent Mary Masshead, as the set is calling it. Um, this minifigure has a sword that is normally used in knights, not in pirates, and a shield that has literally nothing on it. She has some very nice torso printing, but no leg printing, sadly. Uh, but she has a nice head, and on the back of it... She has very lively head, uh, and very lively just head features. Like, in the movie, I'm pretty sure she's supposed to come to life. So that's pretty cool. And if you didn't see the minifigure in the main lineup, there's a reason why. She actually goes on the front of uh, the ship, which is pretty cool. There's this little stand for her that she can go on. So that's cool. Two of these zombie sharks that detach from the little point I was showing earlier. Um, they're very nice. They're super cool looking. And they have the little rib cages here that you can see, uh, which are not uh, parallel to each other. There's a little spot where a minifigure can hatch on right up here. If I can get it to work. There we go. Um, there's also a spot for... A minifigure to stand. Here you go, Lieutenant Lazaro. Um, but some nice face printing, and of course, like all these sharks, they can eat people. But it's really cool because um, you put the minifigure through, and you can see in the rib cage. I'll take somebody like Henry, for example. Um, you have to put his hands up. I'm going to stick them right in, shake them a little bit, there you go, and you can see him right in here, right there, and as I said in this set, it comes with two of these zombie sharks, so there you go. The final thing for the set is this tiny little dinghy for the good guys, it just comes with two oars and this little seat build. It's nothing much. It has a little lamp on the end, which is kind of cool, but it's just a little dinghy that appears in most sets. Overall, the Silent Mary is an awesome set, and I definitely recommend it if you have the money to get it. It is $200, so it's pretty expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. The minifigures are great. 
the uh, entire ship is just so good. Uh, my only flaws with it is I wish it included a couple more minifigures, like a Barabosa minifigure would be great. Um, but uh, that is pretty much my only flaw, except for this mast. I get it that it's it happens like that in the trailer, but I just don't like it like that. But that's my personal opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in another one soon. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.